In this tutorial I will show you how to configure Ableton and Max for Live to be able to control the Wolf Blowfield synthesizer with Ableton and the NSSRL Blowfield editor from Max for Live. I programmed this editor because the developer of the Filch Blowfield plugin stopped working on his device and I needed a solution to control my Waldorf Blowfield synthesizer in Ableton. Mm. Okay, first of all, you have to download the Max Runtime um, application from this web page. Uh, we do need this software to run a patch that sends SysX messages from our editor directly to the Blowfield and thus bypasses Ableton's limitations with SysX. This patch, UDP receive runtime dot maxpad you find in the um, download fol folder of this um, of this editor. Okay, let's open this patch with max runtime and let's go over to the Ableton suite. Okay. Okay, this here, this is the patch and it receives the sysx messages with, uh, uh, with, the, with the UDP protocol and then sends it to the MIDI out, which is our world of flow field. Okay, my editor comes uh, in two versions. Either you can uh, drop the whole MIDI rack onto your track. Um, this uh, MIDI rack is built in a chronological way similar to the uh, Blofeld. Um, as you can see, um, or you can, you can use only the modules you want uh, and load them on the track. For example, if you only want to control preset sounds on the Blofeld. Um, They have sometimes you have a better overview on your on your MIDI track, but I myself prefer this whole MIDI rack on the MIDI track. Okay, uh, we don't have audio on this track um, yet, so um, I'd recommend to put an external instrument right behind our MIDI effect. You can also um, build up another audio track and capture the sound from your sound card on this audio track, but it works fine with this er external instrument um, device from Ableton. Um, well, le let's send the MIDI signal to our wall of flow field out and let's capture the sound from our uh, sound card and uh, let's try if, if we get some sound. <laughs> Okay, um, I already prepared this uh, random track to show you how you can control a preset sound on the Blofeld. Okay, therefore we, at the moment we don't need the oscillator section he over here, but I will show you how to set up a little bit automation and how to use the filter and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, as you can see, filter cutoff works fine. Thank you. 
like this you can control uh, presets on the Blofeld. Um, I will now show you some of the other features of this editor. Um, here in this in the master section you see some controls like breath, control foot, control mod wheel. You can also automate them all. And here you see uh, some of the buttons over here. Um, for example, the panic button. Um, with the panic button, you can stop the blowfield from uh, doing weird things when it uh, goes crazy. The reset plug-in button uh, resets uh, this MIDI effect to its default values um, that will also be sent to the blowfield. I now push the reset plugin button and when I press play we don't hear anything. Mm. And that's because um, our oscillator shapes are resetted. They are all off. Okay, now we can we can select the uh, oscillator shape for the first oscillator. Set the octave. Let's set the shape for the second oscillator. Okay, we can also um, set the modulation sources over here. Then we can go over to the LFO section. So yeah, play with the 
chaos uh, with the appreciator over here. Okay, and over here we have fall, we have fully control over all the um, all, all the parameters that um, that we find on our blow field. We can use the effects. And still everything is automatable. Okay. Unfortunately, this uh, reset blowfield button over here does not work always. So for me at the moment, it it should reset the the preset sound on the blowfield, but actually it doesn't. Well, maybe I will in in the next version I will uh, delete this uh, uh, this button. Okay, also the send all values button does not work very well. It should send the current values from this editor to the blow field. And I added it because I thought it would be cool to store some preset sounds of this um of this device with this button here to Ableton and reload them to the blow field every time you you open your your set but unfortunately it it does send the values but um some values are sent strange and well you you can play with this um maybe i will i will find a better way to solve this problem okay well that's that's the little introduction to my editor. Special credits to Josh Feldman um, who created his own Blowfield editor, um, and you can you can also download this uh, editor from from this page here. And um, he made an, an st a standalone version for Max, and he gave me some help on understanding the sysx messages. So. Thank you, Josh. And also a special thanks to to Odeo, um, who created this um, editor for the Roland Juno. And uh, in this editor, he used the method of sending sysx mes messages over the max runtime patch to the synthesizer. And uh, this was the final hint on getting my editor working. Okay, so please follow me on Facebook and SoundCloud. You will find the links below. And uh, if you'd like to support me, you can purchase my album that will be released soon on Conga Records. Well, okay, have fun with uh, this editor. Thank you very much.